Hello, Mike. Hey, Caio. In this episode, we are going to migrate the quiz project to Swift 5.2 and the latest Xcode, which at the time is 11.4.1. We're also going to migrate our CI server to GitHub Actions. All right, so let's create a new branch. Swift 5.2 migration. Let's open the workspace. Boom, okay. So we have two projects in the workspace, the quiz engine and the quiz app. Mm -hmm. So let's migrate them one by one. First, let's check the warnings in the quiz engine project. We need to update to recommended settings. Okay. And migrate the deprecated localization setting. Okay, looks like it worked. Let's run all the tests. Passing. Okay. Let's commit. Update project to recommended settings. And it's Xcode 11.4.1. Okay. Now migrate to Swift 5. Let's do one at a time. Let's start with the quiz engine first. Okay, no changes. Fantastic. But let's make sure it updated to Swift 5 in all targets. Whoops, look at this. It did an update in the quiz engine. So let's do it manually. Let's see the quiz engine tests. Also needs to migrate. Quiz engine iOS is correct. And the tests. Okay, also correct. Let's run the test again. All passing. Let's commit. Migrate quiz engine to Swift 5.2. Fantastic. And finally, the quiz app. Oh, we got a change. Okay, nothing major, just an API that was renamed. Mm -hmm. Let's also make sure all the targets have the right Swift version. Yes, Swift 5. And Swift 5. Okay, let's run the tests. No passing, no warnings. Excellent. Let's commit. Migrate quiz app to Swift 5.2. That was easy. <laughs> but we have a problem. Our current CI server does not support the latest Xcode yet. And it's been quite slow to adopt new versions of iOS or even macOS. Mm -hmm. So I think we should change our CI server because we don't want this blocking us from updating our project. Right. And it's also a great opportunity to show how to use GitHub Actions as your CI server. Okay, let's go to the repo on GitHub. And from here we can select Actions. And you can either find the workflow that works for you or set up one by yourself. Let's set up one from scratch. Mm -hmm. And let's just get this Swift workflow as a template. So all you need to run GitHub Actions is to create a folder dot GitHub in the root of your repo with a workflow folder and the YAML config for the workflow. So let's create here the GitHub folder and the workflows folder inside of it. Now let's create our CI configuration. And we can copy the template code from GitHub. So let's give it a name. For us, it's going to be CI. It should run every time there is a new push to master and also on pull requests to master. Mm -hmm. Now the job, let's call it build and test. That's what we're going to do. We're going to run it on the latest macOS version. Fantastic. Now we need to define the steps in the workflow. Mm -hmm. And we can copy these from our previous CI. Exactly. So we just want to run the Xcode build and test script. So we can call it build and test. Yes, but we also want to select the latest Xcode version. Exactly. So we need to do it before we build and test. So select Xcode. So Xcode select switch and we want the latest one 11.4.1 and that should do it so let's remove our old ci config mm -hmm. 
Let's add all the changes to the stage. There it is. We added a new CI workflow with GitHub Actions and we deleted the old CI config. So migrate CI to GitHub Actions. Let's now push to GitHub. Okay, there it is. Let's create a pull request. Swift 5.2 migration. Select Mike to review. Gladly. <laughs> and there it is. It automatically runs the workflow, build and test for every pull request to master. Let's have a look. It's running the steps we set up there. First, check out the repo, select the latest Xcode version or whatever Xcode version you want in that they support, and you build and test the application. Okay, as soon as the workflow is completed and there are no failures, we can merge the changes to master. And it passed, fantastic. Okay, just one more thing, the status badge. Select action, workflow, create status badge, copy the markdown, and update our readme with the new CI badge from GitHub Actions. All right. And that's it for this episode. Our project is now using the latest Swift version and the latest Xcode version. And our CI is also up to date, so we are good to go. Fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes. Also like the video. And we'll see you again next time. Bye, yo. See ya.